Hello everyone, uh, in this video I am going to walk you through the process of routing your Samsung device in 2023. Whether you want to unlock the advanced feature or install custom software, this guide will help you to get started. First thing first, uh, let's check the device info. As you can see, I am using Samsung Galaxy S20 FE which is currently running on uh, One UI 5.1 and Android 13. Uh, before we dive in the process of root, we need to enable developer option. Simply tap on the build number 5 to 7 time and you will see a toast by saying developer mode has been enabled. Uh, as you can see my developer option is enabled. You can see here uh, we have developer option. Uh, now first enable this OEM unlock. Uh, I'm gonna enable it. And next thing you need to enable a USB taping option. Uh, now let's find out our device is rooted or not so i have installed root checker basic app for this purpose so let's open it up and check so our device is not rooted yet uh, to get started we need to unlock the device bootloader this is a crucial step in the process uh, but before you proceed please keep in mind that unlocking bootloader will format all your data so be sure to take a backup uh, now uh, let's uh, follow the bootloader unlock steps first power off the device completely and we are going to boot the device into the unlock mode uh, to do this first press the volume up and volume down button simultaneously uh, once it will uh, shut down now i am going to press volume up and volume down button simultaneously and uh, then connect our device uh, to pc so uh, keep holding both button until the device boot into the unlock mode Now you can see a warning message. Take a moment to read it carefully. It mentioned that unlocking bootloader will erase all your data. If you are okay with this, then proceed. Uh, to confirm and unlock the bootloader, long press the volume up button and it will ask you to unlock the bootloader again. Uh, now this time press volume up button to continue. Now I'm gonna press volume up button. Once you've done this, your device will automatically reboot and display unlock bootloader warning. Uh, now uh, to continue, press the power button. If you miss, miss pressing it, uh, the device will ask again but won't boot until you press the power button. Uh, now uh, I'm gonna press it. Keep in mind that this process might take 4-5 to five minutes so to save time, I'm going to fast forward the video. As you can see my device is now booted. Uh, let me quick set up it and once it's done, uh, let's move to the next step. Our device has been rebooted. It's time to check whether the bootloader is unlocked or not. So to do this, we need to enable developer option again. So let me enable it. Once enabled, open developer option. As you can see, the device bootloader has been unlocked. Great progress so far. Uh, now we enable the USB debugging option and set your device aside. And we will move to the PC screen for the next steps. Alright folks, on your PC you need to download these three files. First, you need to download Ordin to fly the firmware. Second uh, is the S20 FE firmware and which is about 6GB 6 in, 6 in size. And lastly, grab the Samsung driver installation file. Uh, so let me install the driver first and guys i have already installed it uh, but for you it's as simple as pressing next and next and it will install a driver on your system uh, now uh, next uh, we will uh, extract the firmware and uh, look for a file name called ap i have already accepted it as you can see here uh, and we have a file named as ap and uh, third is Ordin. Ordin is used to flash the file uh, so let me show you here is the files for Ordin. now first thing first we need to uh, copy the uh, ap file and move it to the phone screen phone uh, storage so let me copy it and here let me connect my device with the pc uh, so let me paste here guys this file is about 5 gb so it may take time let me fast forward it That file is copied. Let's move to the phone screen. Now uh, you can disconnect your phone from the PC. Uh, so I have already installed Magisk uh, during the file copying process. Let me open it up. Uh, let's first check uh, our file is here or not. So 
so as you can see we have file ap it's about 7.37 gb now let me open magisk manager here we have open it and here click on install click on select and patch a file here select your ap file which is about 7 gb and after a few seconds it will patch a file uh, with the magic patch boot image so let me fast forward it So the process is now complete and the file is patched and copied to the download folder. So let's check it out. Yes, the file is created with magic patched uh, .tar file. And now we need to move this file back to PC to flash it using Arden. So let me copy it. Let's connect the device with the PC and let's move to the PC screen again. Our device is connected, let me quick copy the file uh, to the PC. Now that file is copied open Arden on your PC and it's time to put your device into the download mode. Uh, so on your phone power off it, power it off uh, just like when we boot it into unlock mode but this time we will boot into download mode. So to do this let me power it off and press volume up and volume down button simultaneously and connect with the PC. Uh, now to boot into the download mode press volume up button once let me press it and our device is now booted into the download mode so connect your device with the pc and let's move to the pc screen uh, once your device is connected to the pc in order it will show added uh, now it's time to flash the magic patch file so click on ap and select your file let me select it the file which we copied earlier from the phone storage here we have click on open and click on start button and now this process might take 7 to 8 minutes so i'm going i'm going to fast forward the video to make it short After a few minutes, you will see a pass. So as you can see pass uh, in Arden, which means our file has been successfully flashed. Uh, your device will reboot automatically. And uh, here we have, as you can see a warning. Uh, guys, uh, you can see the warning. This phone is not running on the Samsung official software. You may have problem with feature security. You can ignore it. Uh, it's a root warning. And guys, uh, let me fast forward the video. And here we need to set up, uh, set it up again. So guys our device has been successfully booted up so after a few seconds the magic app will automatically install on your phone uh, if it is not installed it on automatically then you can install it manually so as you can see uh, magic let me open it uh, it is asking to reboot but i will do it later Uh, here we go as you can see magisk manager uh, magisk is not successfully installed on your device so let's check it if device is rooted or not so let me install root checker basic app let me download it first So guys let's click on verify root 
and here grant the permission for the super user so as you can see our device has been successfully rotated so by this following steps you can unlock the full potential of your samsung device if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thank you for watching tech jarvis